Yes, mate. So the following video is taken from my Cold Approach Blueprints video course. Now, let me tell you, right, this course gives you the entire blueprints that you need to finally master Cold Approach and to finally transform your dating life. So what I want you to do right now is watch this video. It's going to give you a ton of value. Then after the, after the video finishes, go to the first link in the description below this video and yeah, access the course and change your life. We're now going to go through the perfect conversation structure, right? I'm going to break down every element of the perfect conversation, the perfect cold approach with the girl and explain why it's important and give you some examples. So the very first thing we need to cover is the first 60 seconds, right? The first 60 seconds are probably the most important part of the interaction because how you come across and the things that you do and the things that you say in the first 60 seconds are going to dictate the outcome of the whole conversation. It's going to set the tone for the rest of the interaction. Because if in the first 60 seconds you come across in all the wrong ways, you won't have any more time to change that, you know, to... to improve you know the girl's opinion on you right because if you come across as weird as creepy as socially uncalibrated in those first 60 seconds she'll be gone right so it's crucial that in these first 60 seconds you make the best first impression that you can to buy yourself some more time and therefore get into a longer interaction with the girl so how do we do that well the most important thing that you must remember in the first 60 seconds is to build comfort with the girl, right? That is the most important thing that you can achieve in this first 60 seconds. In this first minute, you need to make sure that the girl feels comfortable speaking of you, standing near you, and ultimately interacting with you. And the best way, right, the absolute best way to build comfort with the girl is just to assume familiarity, right? So what do I mean by assuming familiarity? Simply put, it just means that you're pretending that this girl is a familiar pe uh, person, right? Familiar face, familiar person, somebody that you already know, somebody that you're already comfortable with. And they're already someone who's comfortable with you. And because so many guys make this mistake where they see an attractive girl and straight away they're like, oh shit, there's a really attractive girl there. You know, I I'm a stranger, she's a stranger. I have to go up to her. I have to make sure that I'm normal. I have to make sure that I'm you know, socially calibrated, right? And they big it up so much in their heads, right? They big it up so much in their heads that this girl is a stranger. This girl is going to think that they're weird because they're a stranger, she's a stranger. And they're putting too much pressure on bridging that gap between a stranger and at least an acquaintance, right? But if you believe, I mean, like, you truly believe, like, not just, you know, on a, on a surface level tell yourself, but if you truly drill it into your head that this girl is a familiar face, this girl is a familiar person, that's going to completely change the way that you act, right? And I could tell you, you know, all these little things that you can do to make you come across better and more familiar, right? But simply put, it'll be too, over, it'll be too overwhelming because there'll be so much that goes into it. You know, approach like this, Make sure your body language is like this at this particular point. Say this at the, uh, say this at that particular point. Say that at that particular point. Say this as you're doing that. Smile then, smile then. Right, there's so much, right? But, and obviously, look, I don't want to overwhelm you, right, when you're first starting out. But, if you put it all under the blanket term, under the blanket statement of assuming familiar familiarity, look, I'm sure you've got friends, mate. Right, I'm sure you've got friends. And to acquire those friends, you've had to talk to someone initially who was a stranger, who was someone that you weren't that familiar with, and you had to come across at least somewhat well, right? You had to come across somewhat well for that person to, first of all, carry on speaking to you, and then, th and then think to themselves, all right, well, this guy is actually sort of all right, I'll speak to him again, right? And over time, that's blossomed into a friendship. So you know how to speak to someone to be friends with them right, to befriend them. You know how to show your best self and demonstrate the good points and the good values that you have, 
to a stranger for them to befriend you. So it's crucial that you view approaching girls in exactly the same light because like I say, if you truly believe that this girl is a familiar person, is a familiar face, it will, it, like, honestly, it will automatically change the way you approach the situation. So let me give you a quick example. Say you're walking down the street and that you see a girl sat on a bench. Now most guys, because they'll have this perception that this girl is a stranger, they'll see the girl on a bench and they want to approach her and this is what they'll do. They'll approach the bench in silence. They'll sit down on the bench in silence. They'll wait like five to 10 seconds, you know, mustering up the courage, mustering up the confidence to actually speak to this girl. And after five, ten, five to 10 seconds of silence, they'll finally turn around and they'll awkwardly like say hello or how are you doing while the voice is trembling. How do you think that comes across? Like think about that yourself, right? How does that come across? It's awkward, isn't it? It's awkward and it's socially uncalibrated. So we think that's awkward. How do you think the girl's gonna view that? Girls are much more socially aware, socially switched on than the average guy, right? So if, if we as men already know that's gonna be awkward, how do you think she's gonna feel? She's gonna feel it's super awkward. And if she thinks it's super awkward, do you think that's going to make her comfortable? Absolutely not. And there, within like the first 10 seconds, you've made the girl feel uncomfortable. And once you've done that, it's truly an uphill battle to try and, to try and change it because first impressions are so important. So that's how most guys would approach that situation with the viewpoint, with the perspective that this girl is a stranger. But now let's imagine this girl is truly a familiar face. Let's say, let's pretend that the girl is one of your very good friends that you haven't seen in two years. Take 30 seconds now, pause the video if you have to, right? And really think to yourself, how would I approach that situation? Like, let's completely forget it's an attractive girl. This is your really good friend that you have not, that you have, that you have not seen for two years, right? Really think about how you'd approach that situation. This is what I would do. If I'm walking there and I see a very good friend of mine that I've not seen for two years on the bench, as I'm approaching, I'm, st I'm, I'm starting a conversation, right? I'm approaching a bench, as I'm, as, I'm pro as I'm approaching the bench, I'm like, you're right, mate, what the hell? Like, long time no see, what, you're, what, what are you doing here, right? As I'm approaching the bench, I'm starting the interaction, right? Then as I get closer to the bench and as I sit down on the bench, I'm continuing the interaction, right? And then obviously once I'm sat on a bench, the interaction can continue as normal, right? Think about how different that is, right? Going from walking to a bench in silence, sitting down and then awkwardly starting the interaction to calling out and starting the interaction as you're approaching the bench and then continuing the interaction as you're sitting down and going from there. Which one of those, example one or example two, do you think displays more confidence? Do you think displays more social charisma? Do you think makes you come across as more socially calibrated? Which one of these makes the girl more comfortable? Well, it's number two, isn't it? It's number two because straight away you're coming across more charismatic, more confident. And confidence is something that you must display very early on, right? Girls are really attracted to confidence. And if you can just, you know, if you can demonstrate and display that you are a confident, socially calibrated guy as quickly as possible, that's really gonna help the girl feel comfortable. Now, on top of assuming familiarity, on top of assuming that this girl is a familiar per a person, a familiar face, and then acting accordingly to fit that mold, to fit that ideology, there's one more thing that you can do. As I've just said, displaying confidence is one of the best things, if not the best thing you can do as quickly as possible, right? And the second problem that guys make, right? The second issue that I see so often is the guys that approach a girl will stop her at the final minute, 
right? They'll stop her in the final second. They'll almost startle her, right? They'll startle her because say like she's walking here or like say she's walking here, he's walking there. It will, like they're walking to, and they're closer and closer. Bam, he will stop her there. It will call out there, right? Whoa, she's startled, right? That's another massive issue that guys have, right? And again, that doesn't really follow the script of her being a familiar person, a familiar face, right? Because again, if you're walking and you see your friend walking towards you, you're not going to just stop her in the final second, are you? As your friend is approaching from like five to 10 meters away, that's when you, you know, stick your hand out, you know, get their attention and start speaking to them. And you'll project your voice as well, won't you? When you're stopping your friend on the street, you're not gonna go, hey, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. You're gonna, oh, you all right, mate? What are you doing? Hi, how are you? What's up? Right? You project your voice. You get their attention from, like I say, five to 10 meters away, and you project your voice. And again, if you carry this, this ideology, right, this, this mindset into the conversations with girls, again, that's gonna make you come across so much more confident so much more socially calibrated, so much at ease of doing this. It's gonna make you come across like you have absolutely no problems doing this. And it's crucial because like I say, the more confident you come across, the more comfortable and, at, and truly like at ease you feel doing this. That energy is gonna to transmute to the girl. If you feel awkward and uncomfortable, the girl's gonna feel awkward and uncomfortable. If you feel at ease and comfortable, the girl's gonna feel at ease and comfortable. So like I say, the best way to make the girl feel comfortable in that interaction, which is the most important thing in those first 60 seconds, is for yourself to be comfortable. And the best way for you to become comfortable is to truly assume familiarity. You should truly assume that this girl is a familiar person, a familiar face. Because if you truly embody that notion, if you truly embody that mindset, Everything that you do in that interaction will automatically be improved. Everything that you do in that interaction will automatically become more smooth, more socially calibrated, and therefore more comfortable for the girl.